Okay, uh, let's take a look at the model. Um, sometimes if you hit 3 for smooth, it'll kind of reveal some issues. Um, there seems to be something going on here. There's kind of a split there that looks weird. Um, might use the uh, merge tool for that, uh, mesh tools, or target weld, I mean, target weld. Just drag this to that, this to that, but oh, there's some other stuff. I'm going to undo that because something else is going on here. I'm going to delete a few faces. Yeah, there's these like inside faces that are uh, and inside edges, apparently. Shift, right, mouse click, delete edge. Nope. Let me undo um, another way we might try cleaning this up. Is uh, I'm going to right mouse click, go to object mode. If I go to mesh cleanup and make sure these options are on lamina faces, non-manifold geometry, and edges with zero length. It might get rid of that stuff in there. It already looks better. Um, I'm still going to try to delete these out. And uh, yeah, maybe, whoops. deleting those as well. And then I might take these two vertices, this one and this one, shift select, and do um, edit mesh, uh, merge to center, seal that up, and yeah, I think that's a little better. Um, yeah, I think there's some stuff in the back as well. Where's the image playing? Oh, that's not an image plane. What is that? I'll just hide that. Okay. Um, I guess that's all right. Um, yeah, there's some issues here. Uh, you might want to have more splits in the arm. I think what I'm going to do is take out these faces. Oh, look, and there's inside faces here, which isn't so great. Okay. And uh, yeah, I might try to just make these more the same. So I'm gonna do Control Shift X and hold down. That'll give me the multi cut tool, and I'll hold down Control and Shift. Hmm. Oh, there's already uh. I'm just going to vertex. Let's try to get rid of this vertex. Shift right mouse click, delete vertex. Okay, now control shift X for the multi cut tool. Oh, there we go. And I'll hold down shift to make it snap to the middle. And, um, to those of the same. Oh, yeah, and this maybe needs one more across here, so. I'm just holding down control and shift to snap that to the middle. And then those should match now. Um, double click on the edge. See it says eight edges. I have that on by display. Uh, heads up display poly count. And then this one is also eight. That's great. So I'll hold down shift, double click on that one. Hold down shift and right mouse click, which gives me this menu. And go down to bridge and that will attach. Uh, attach those two, and it's a much cleaner connection now than uh, what's going on there with all that stuff. Um, 
So I can repeat that uh, over here. Right mouse click, face, so delete these. I got rid of these inside faces. I added to this one, hold down Control Shift X for the multi cut tool. Hold on. Oh, we had to get rid of that vert first, didn't we? Select that, Shift, right mouse click, go down, delete vertex. Now Control Shift X for the multi cut tool. Hold on both Control and Shift to snap to the center, and I got that. And let's do the same. Okay, that's already done because I did it on the other side here. So right mouse click, edge, double click, hold down shift, double click, hold down shift, right mouse click, and bridge. Great. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Um, the neck. Uh, it's not great when you have these, you know, multi-sided faces. Control shift X, I can like you know, wait till the dot turns red there, and uh, I'll repeat that for this side. And it just acts a little bit more predictably. Here you've got kind of a lot of edges. What I might do here is merge some, so or weld some. So right mouse click, vertex, and I'm using that weld, target weld, so I'll just go from here to here, and from there to there, and then I'll use the multi-cut to control shift x, and just from here to there, and from here to there. I don't love having triangles on there, but it's slow, there's something not so great happening around the chin. I think it's this extra edge here, or that extra face even. Hmm. It was sort of it's sort of overlapping. So I'm deleting out those faces, right mouse click, edge, double click, it selects around there, hold down shift, right mouse click, go down to fill hole. Uh -huh, okay, double click, shift, right mouse click, fill hole. Okay. And that looks better there. Okay. Um That looks like all the major stuff. I mean, there's more little stuff you could do, certainly. But uh, something about the hair is going a little wacky here. But I think it's just the shape you're trying to get. It's doing that. I don't know. I'm just trying to sort out what's funny about this. There's definitely something wrong. I'm just undoing. Um, what I would probably do in this case is just delete it and try it again. I'll hold down shift and period, which is the greater than symbol, to grow the selection and just delete that off. And yeah, I can see that there's some strangeness going on here. Uh, well, I already ran mesh cleanup though. That didn't mesh cleanup. I don't know. That, I don't think that's fixing this. Oh, it's not to the grow selection isn't working now. Um, just trying to delete this. Yeah, look out for extremely stretched out faces like this one. some weird stuff inside the head too it looks like just trying to sort out what's going on here get rid of that one too I'm just trying to get it back to 
um, kind of a state where it's kind of clean and not having all these weird faces. Um, there's just a lot of kind of weird faces that are all intersecting each other that's kind of making a mess. Uh, try to put those back together. Oof. Just a lot of weird f kind of overlapping messy faces that are... Oh! There's like holes on the surface and stuff. Oh jeez. That's the kind of stuff you kind of ho hope for mesh cleanup to fix and in this case it didn't. Um, it's a bit hard to... clean something like up this up at this stage because things are pretty far um, I can select those and if I do uh, edit mesh uh, merge should merge those too. That's better. Um, oh, jeez. Just make sure when you select those two that you deselect anything else, because sometimes you, know, you select right through and it uh, selects ones on the other side, and then you end up merging those together. Okay, what is all? Are all of them like that, or? Certainly a lot of them are. Jeez. So one thing I can do is if I just select all of these and I go to Edit Mesh, Merge Options, and just make sure I have a very low threshold, like 0 0.001 or something, so it only merges with the right on top of each other. And hopefully that'll fix all of those so we won't have any more of that. Um, I mean, it's just, I don't know if I can, without, I think I just would have to delete off so much more uh, to try and, you know, it's almost like at the point of rebuilding ahead to get that cleaned up. Um... There's so many extra faces here on the inside of the head. Just using the grow selection thing right now. Is that getting any of the outside? Oh, that's getting the actual outside of the head now. Oh, see, I'm blowing holes in the head. Well, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me try deleting this off. That, that. And maybe that, and that. I'm just trying to get to a point where it's sort of a clean... Ugh, why is it going... Oh, it's not attached to there. Maybe if I delete this face... 
and then like merge that together maybe okay I'm gonna do a uh, fill hole Shift right mouse click, uh, fill hole. And then I'll have to put all the splits back in here. Control Shift X. Um. Just trying to get it to like a clean, usable surface. Maybe to there. I mean, there's still a lot of messy things happening, but um, now I might take these two faces, shift right mouse click, extrude face, kind of pull these out. And Just trying to do that bit of hair you had. I might try to like flatten this out this way. That might help it. And then um, shoot face again. And then extrude it again. And obviously you can spend more time shaping this than I am, but I get the idea. I guess it's just a bit cleaner now. I think there's more work to be done there, but I got it part of the way. Well, what is all this now? Oh, so, well, this is all torn open too. So let's just do that same merge trick too. Hopefully that'll solve that. Mesh, or sorry, edit mesh. Merge and make sure you have that very low number like 0 0.001. And uh, let's see if that's not tearing open. Is this tear? Yes, it is. I don't know why that happened to you. Um, but, anyways, this is a way to fix it. Mesh, add a mesh, merge, same settings. And of course, you know, there's too many here, so those aren't going to merge, but... Um, well, I mean, what you could do is do some target weld stuff, so... My tools, target weld, and maybe put like that one to that one, and put those together, and... Do the same on this side. And then you could... Control Shift X and sort of terminate these. Let's say here. That one's. What do we do? And then this one needs to be terminated somewhere as well. Right here. Just click, click, you know, when it turns red. Um, and then maybe we could do the target weld again for these. Mm. That looks bad, but what is this face? Is that more of those? Uh, oh yeah, it was just more of those faces that weren't merged. Is 
Oh, that's just... What's going on there? Oh, there's some weird extra... Uh, let's just do... Th I should just be doing that. You know, I should just do that to the whole character all at once. Okay. Oh yeah, that seems to solve some stuff. Or All right, well, um, yeah, that's definitely better than it was, so I'll just save this here and uh, share that with you as well.